last uh, Saturday, I think it was, we had 36 on the injured or sick list, so we, we've had trouble getting a lot of things accomplished that we, we thought we, we would get accomplished. Now, the problem this week is not only to let our injured get well, uh, which we're going to do, but also to get our game plan ready to, uh, to be in to be ready to execute it at its best Saturday night. We hear a lot of talk that kicking has been a problem so far. Is that true? It sure has. Uh, when you look at our kickers out there, it's like uh, rolling the dice. You don't know. It depends on the wind and the day who's going to kick best. But Bobby Jobson's kicking better now. So is Dick Bowley. And uh, uh, I think uh, the boy from junior college in California, Bud Bonnewell, uh, has, has had a real good early fall. Whichever one of them looks like they're going to have has a hot hand on Saturday night, that's probably who will do the kick, and I don't think we'll know right up till then. That's how even most of our punters are. Before we start, we've even started to prepare for them. We try to do something about our mistakes Saturday night, which would include improving our kicking game naturally, because uh, that fell apart completely, and uh, we'll have to have a good kicking game against Michigan State. Other than that, Michigan State is a big, strong football team, much different than South Carolina, much different than any team I know of in this part of the country. Uh, similar to Notre Dame, uh, I don't believe their pass offense is, is quite the same as Notre Dame, but their running attack is very similar. They're big, strong people. Uh, you must... Uh, because they're going to be bigger than we are and uh, much stronger than we are, we have to prepare for the run game a little bit differently. But uh, generally, we're, we're a sound defensive team, and uh, outside of working a lot harder on their run game, there'll be much, there'll be very little different to in this perspective. There's, there's little league football in many cases. So over him. It causes as many problems solves is a team sport. One of the things that is in Little League football, they about doing their own For certain in football, everybody does the same thing. Everything does. They must do. That's, that's teamwork. He gets one. Listen, a, a young man playing Little League. Well, if I had it, I, I, I would make it mandatory that every quarter get a team so that you couldn't take a young man, practice him a specific amount of time, and that wouldn't be very long. Uh, and then you'd play him in a game, whether you like it or not, regardless of who the coach was, the practice would, would be obligated by rule to play the quarter. I think that would parental pressure would solve the problems that the parents in Little League sports knowing that every, every young man uh, by going out would get an opportunity to play. The competition is so keen now in high school and college football. Would a boy who did not play Little League football have it by the time he was in high school? You know, that's worked both. been some Little League uh, star going there used to be in star these awards and uh, somehow get an, an exaggerated opinion of themselves. They go up to uh, high school football and sit on a bench and quickly get, become discouraged and don't ever play again. That happens many times. The opposite is true. Uh, Little League football does help develop a young man into a better I, I don't think that uh, I don't think though that Little League football as far as developing skills plays that big a part in a young man's high school or, or, or uh, college football career. I don't think he really developed much in the way of skills that uh, he wouldn't develop if he just went through junior high school and high school program. Would it be possible for to, to believe he's a terrible football player when he's seven or eight years old and actually be very good when he's high school or college age? Oh, very possible. Uh, take a, oh, I pick a, I'll bet you if I went through over our squad, you'd, there wouldn't be uh, five percent of them had played Little League football. Uh, some of our big tackles uh, were very small, puny men at, uh, at, at that age. They, they uh, grew uh, in junior high school and didn't go out for football until, say, they were a sophomore in high school. Uh, it's uh, all up to them. And, uh, in fact, in playing Little League uh, didn't hurt them a bit, not a bit. Do you have any advice for parents who are considering children playing or who have children? Wow. Yeah, I think uh, if I if I had any advice, I would make I would make certain that uh, it was a game to the ball, and I pro was approached as that, and that uh, his being pressure for him to be the very best uh, was kept to a to 
to a minimum. I, I think a, a young man part of a football team doesn't have to be told by his parents that uh, it's important to be number one. Uh, I think just being exposed to that type program creates that. Uh, any added pressure, I think, tends to do more harm than, than, than good. What about the coaches? Would you have any advice for the coaches? Well, I, I may be unfair in this. I only know a couple, uh, and a couple I, I know have called me and wanted to uh, sweat some weight off young young boys in order that they make a certain weight that they could play on their team. Of course, I wouldn't allow that. That, even that. I think there are too many. If I were to give one bit of advice to coaches, I said they ought to keep the best interests of the young man at heart, uh, the purpose of the program, and not uh, their own personal. Uh, uh, solving a lot of their own personal problems by winning or losing football games and keeping young men on practice fields for an unbelievable amount of time. The, the real purpose of Little League football, and I, I think a lot of the men who uh, I know realize this and are dedicated to it, is to teach young men to be part of a team uh, and to participate in a sport and enjoy it. Uh, when it goes beyond that, I think you're getting on dangerous ground anytime, but particularly at that age level.